Okay, we're getting another cooking lesson from the redhead. Renee, you've got some pork loin and some shrooms and some Brussels sprouts. What's happening here? Okay, so we've got a Brussels sprouts that have marinated overnight in olive oil and pink Himalayan salt. And I just put those in a baggie after I split them and let them marinate overnight because they cook up better. So we're going to roast those. The pork loin is just a boneless pork loin roast and it's sitting on a bed of um, mushrooms, carrots, some fresh herbs, parsley, I'm sorry, uh, thyme and rosemary, and some parsnips. We're going to do a quick roast on this, and then when we take it out of the convected, we're going to pour the mushroom sauce on it and finish it off in the oven. And this is the mushroom sauce that we're making for the pork loin roast. What's in the mushroom sauce? Well, right now it's just mushrooms, salt, pepper, garlic, and then we're going to once this cooks down quite a bit, I'm going to uh, deglaze the pan with some red wine and then pour the beef stock in and make a bit of a sauce before we pour it on the roast. And tell us about the beef stock, please. That's the stuff I was making this weekend. So it's homemade beef stock, bone broth, which is really what everybody's calling it right now, but it's stock. Basically roasted beef bones um, that took about a day and a half, two days to cook down so that I have a real beef stock. And cool. that's it. And we're going to start the uh, pork loin in the convected oven, which is the one on the bottom. Yep. Which is a higher temperature, right? Well, it's convected. It's an air blowing. So it's a higher temperature in the sense that they've got constant air flowing. It the, cooks differently. The Brussels will start down there as well the whole time for the Brussels in the yep. convected oven? Yep. And then we're going to get, the, why, why do we start the pork loin in the convected and then move it to the regular Because I want it to crispen up a little bit. So, and it can dry out if we put it in there the whole time. So I want it to get nice and crisp. It's kind of what you do like if you're doing a, a chicken where you're trying to get a, a deep crisp shell on it. So it's gonna be in at a high temperature for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna take this out of the convected oven and put it in the upper conventional baking oven at 350. Love it. So tasty, you can smell it even in the video. Thanks everybody.